Hey Sagittarius, it's Dana with Deep Thoughts with Dana. I have been gone for a minute, a brief sabbatical to learn and grow, and um, I am back with a vengeance, Sag. Back with a vengeance. Okay, this is a general reading for the sign of Sagittarius. If you have Sag anywhere in your chart, this reading may resonate with you. It may not. If it doesn't resonate with you, leave it on the table and walk away. Please don't try to make it fit. Okay? Don't make it fit. If it tingles, it's for you. If it doesn't tingle, it's not. Right? And the duration of this reading is from whenever it resonates to whenever it doesn't. Each one of these cards is a physical, e mental, e mental, <laughs> physical, emotional, or mental process. And it depends on how long it takes you to work your way through all of these, right? Or the person, that, if there's anybody else in your readings, the people who are in them, it take, you know, however long it takes them to work through their emotions and their thoughts and their physical processes, okay? You may see yourself anywhere in this reading. Perhaps this, haven't, this hasn't started for you. Perhaps you're finished with it. Perhaps you're somewhere in the middle. If you would like some clarity, some confirmation, and your own personal reading, you can click the link in the box below or hit me up at deepthoughtswithdana.com. Okay, Sag, so here we go. So you have a situation here where there is a king of wands, right? And I know y'all can't see these because of the glare, but I'll show you. It's the sunshine and you know what? I love it. So you are in, you have had an entanglement with a King of Wands character, right? Who has pulled some shady shit on you with the devil energy in a love situation. Now this King of Wands wants to reconcile your differences with the Six of Cups, but you are thinking with the Six of Cups in reverse that this is completely and totally unrealistic to do. You're stuck in the past because you have the feels for this King of Wands, but yet you think it's completely unrealistic to reconcile your differences, okay? And I'm not getting a sense of reuniting. I just think that, that this King of Wands has pulled some shady shit on you, and now he wants to reconcile your differences, and you're like, nah, I don't think so. It's a little bit unrealistic, a little bit too late, bud. Um, to the Ten of Wands in reverse. This Ten of Wands in reverse is about avoiding responsibility. So this King of Wands wants to reconcile differences, but yet they're not accepting responsibility for what they did. This creates the feeling of the Six of Swords, where there is too much baggage, too much water under the bridge. To the Strength card, you having to pull on some inner strength, because of the Five of Pentacles, because you either want to leave this King of Wands out in the cold or this King of Wands has left you out in the cold in some aspect, right? Maybe they didn't include you with a decision. Maybe they did something that, that excluded you and you feel left out in the cold. Prince of Pentacles in reverse comes in and talks about um, feeling stuck, right? You're feeling stuck. Because like I said, it's not about reuniting. It's about reconciling. And this King of Wands wants to reconcile, but yet they're not willing to take responsibility for what they did. And this leaves you with the feeling of too much water under the bridge, pulling on some inner strength because I think it's you that feels left out in the cold and you're stuck in the past, right? You can't get over whatever this King of Wands, whatever this shady behavior is that this King of Wands pulled on you. The emperor comes in and talks about, again, this King of Wands, okay? So this King of Wands is the emperor it's the same energy okay but you're not oh you you're you're not very optimistic that this king of wands emperor character can pull himself out of the hole that he has dug princess of swords says all talk and no action okay all talk no action undelivered promises the tower moment talks about upheaval chaos, a revelation, and an awakening because the high priestess in reverse says that there was some kind of secret that you have discovered. I do believe the secret is the root of why this King of Wands wants to reconcile your differences and why you feel left out in the cold. Okay, the secret, the discovery of this secret 
is is the tower moment, right? Probably the catalyst that caused all of this in the first place. The high priestess in the center of your reading means that all of these cards revolve around you sitting down with your intuition and your subconscious mind in the hangman energy, pausing, processing, working it out, and coming out on the other side with a decision. The decision is to cut out your feels with the king of cups, right? Putting and ending and cutting out your feels, okay? For this person. To the princess of pentacles in reverse. This is just simply a lack of progress, right? Just, you, you just, you just, you can't get over it. Sad, you just can't get over it. Eight of Swords says you've tried, you've tried, you've tried, you've tried to think it through and wrap your brain around what it is that this King of Wands Emperor person has done to you. And you've tried to get your feels back to go forward into a Two of Cups relationship, love relationship with this person. But the Nine of Pentacles says that you just, you just can't. And you're bringing it all to a conclusion. You're bringing it all to a culmination and a conclusion because the Ace of Wands says that you have lack of motivation to, to even entertain anything that this king of wands has to say because they're avoiding responsibility for whatever this secret was that caused a tower moment lack of an apology perhaps the world card comes in and says you're closing out a cycle you're closing out one cycle you're starting a new cycle in your life to the seven of cups because you believe that reconciling your differences with this king of wands is just wishful thinking. It's illusion. It's wishful thinking. They're not remorseful for what it is that they did. And you don't see, you don't see it being realistic to, to achieve the 10 of pentacles, right? To achieve any kind of substance with this person despite their messages of love with the, with the um, Prince of Cups, right? Despite them sharing their, their desire for love and teamwork and collaboration with the Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles always gives me just a hint of a third party situation going on. And it doesn't have to be a cheating situation. But I, I get the feeling that this King of Wands put somebody else prioritized somebody else before you and that's where this hurt is coming from could be wrong but anyway that's just an inkling that i have okay so despite this king of wand emperor's um, messages of love right messages of wanting teamwork and collaboration the two of cups says that the the breakup is just good with you it's okay with you you, you just there's a misalignment of values a core misalignment of values between the two of you to the Nine of Swords, right? You're chalking this up as a painful lesson. The Four of Pentacles in reverse tells me that you are in self-protection mode, right? Self-protection mode. The Prince of Cups again, but in reverse this time, tells me that it's completely unrealistic to reconcile your differences with this King of Wands Emperor person. And the Prince of Wands comes in and says that you are going to take inspired action to to move out of this situation close out the cycle bring things to a culmination and carry about your merry way all on your own Sagittarius so that is your reading if it resonated awesome if it didn't resonate that's okay too if you'd like a personal reading with me you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com namaste